I'm about to launch a dropshipping store right in front of you and showcase my entire process from researching the product, coming up with a store name, constructing the entire store in real time. And the best part is I'm gonna be giving the store to one of you guys, so stick around to see how you can win. So I came across this product that is a super bouncy ball that is being marketed as a space type of ball from this dropshipping store and it's been going viral, it's been going crazy on their TikTok. So I thought I'd try to create a store around it. The best part is that I've decided to hit that record button on everything. That way you'll get an inside look at every single move I make while setting up a brand new store and be able to follow along with me. All right, so first things first, when you have your product you want to sell in mind, you're going to need to come up with a unique store name. So I pasted in my product info to ChatGPT and I'm typing in, here is my info about my product along with the competitor brand names. Can you come up with 10 unique brandable names for my Shopify store. And here is the list of names that it gave me. I personally like the Orbix one, so I'm proceeding with Orbix Ball. Now we'll want to go to GoDaddy to check if that .com domain is in fact available, which in my case it is. The next step is to create a dedicated email for my new store name. So I went ahead and did that using my store name course. Now that I've created my email, I've got to sign up for Shopify, which I'll be using my partner link. And that's because when using my dedicated partner link, it's going to get you Shopify for only a buck a month instead of 39 bucks a month. So that's a no brainer. My Shopify store is now open and we are ready to import our first product. Now to import the product and connect the correct SKU with a supplier, I'll be using AutoDS to streamline this entire process. All right, so now to sign up for AutoDS and get that product on into our website, <clears throat> we can go to any one of my videos uh, if we go to the link in the description we'll go with AutoDS. this is going to allow us to get a whole entire month for free which is awesome i don't know why we would not use that so we're going to go in and sign up using that store name that i created as well as the email address and go in and hit join and then from here we are obviously using Shopify, so that's what I'm going to integrate with. And then as far as the packages, I'm gonna go with the most popular package, which is the Starter 500. This is really just contingent on how many products you're gonna be importing. And here's that 30 day free trial that we are going to utilize. I'm gonna put in my credit card information and get back to you guys once we're in the dashboard. All right, so here we are onto the AutoDS dashboard and we're gonna go in and add our store. Very simple, I'm gonna add, install the app. All right, so here we are onto the dashboard now. And so we're gonna go in and add our products by hitting this button, single product. And I'm gonna copy and paste my AliExpress link for my product that I have right here. Copy, paste, and then I'm just gonna publish it straight to the store because I can edit it later. And then here we are, I'm gonna select here and then import. And AutoDS is really great because not only did we just import our product very easily from AliExpress over to Shopify, but now anytime we do in fact get an order, they're gonna be able to automatically fulfill each and every order and our customer is gonna be updated with that tracking code information. All right, so here is that product that just got imported and the description is gonna be our product page. We have the points of sale and then we also have the images that we can edit as well as the variants. So this is the Shopify dashboard forward as we have it here i'm gonna start the trial now because in three days see we have one dollar per month for three months because we use my partner link so i'm just gonna go ahead and select the plan really quick pay and from there my store is now going to be visible if you don't pay the store is not going to be visible so i'm just going to set that up right now and just for reference the basic plan is totally fine so that's what i'm going to be using all right so it has successfully went through now what i'm going to do just to get this out of the way i'm going to set up some settings i'm going to start with the shipping and delivery i'm going to delete all these rates i'm going to make my own rates for now all right so my domestic zone is going to be the us and that's what i would recommend doing so i'm just going to start with standard shipping you can create any options that you want but this is how i like to do it based on order price of zero and i do like to generally charge for shipping so that i can incentivize people to spend more money to get free shipping so i'm going to create free shipping thresholds as well this is going to be you could even do like priority processing you want to make sure that you can fulfill that as well it's on order price of zero i'm just going to increase just to you know hopefully increase the average order value Let's just go with 5.95 here we go done and then we are going to create a free shipping minimum but i do want to get an idea for pricing this is okay so let's just go with free free shipping on orders 35 plus I've not figured out the exact offer yet, but for now, this is pretty solid. So there we are with the domestic and we can do the same thing for the international. Now what you could hypothetically do is do a little bit of an increase, international shipping, and then I'm gonna charge at a bit of a premium. Let's just say, let's go with five, a bit more. 
and then we can go processing and then we'll do the same int international so they know this will be 95 and yeah and then we'll do the same thing we can just stick with 35 plus it's fine don't want to get things too crazy based on minimum price of 35 dollars make sure that you have that set up and there we go shipping is done that was set up pretty quickly so we're gonna save that and you guys can put in your information later what you're definitely going to want to do for payments is either sign up and set up the Shopify payments. So click complete the setup right here and then link your PayPal account. And then right here under domains this is where we would easily connect our domain. We just go connect existing domain that we're gonna get prompted over to GoDaddy where you can proceed with that connection. All right, so now we can go on to the online store and we're gonna start to edit our theme. So I would suggest three themes, either Dawn, Refresh or Sense. In this example, I'm gonna be using Dawn. All right, so once we wait for that to import, I'm also going to be heading over to the products to edit my product page. So for now, I already came up with our name. It's gonna be the Orbix Ball. So this is what we can name it, the Orbix Ball. And then this is the description. I generally like to use a competitor as the reference. Now, now what we're trying to do here is complete this in the most efficient and quick way possible for today. So I'm gonna be using a reference store. This is the reference store that I have. And what we could do, I also found one on Amazon right here. So what I can do right now, just to get a solid description, I can take all this information right, about this product and then head over to ChatGPT. Now I'm gonna say, all right, there's information here as well. Just take this. All right, so this is what I am doing. I just pasted all the product information. Now I'm going and saying and commanding ChatGPT, here is my information about my product I'm selling. Can you create me a concise product description that is easy to read and interactive? Let that do its thing. All right, so nice. So this is what it has, but my product is the Orbix ball. No worries, I'll just change that up. And this looks pretty good for me. So let's go in and go back. It's gonna be the Orbix ball. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to read through this, right? Like if you don't like anything here, you do not have to copy it exactly. Just take bits and pieces of what you like, and then you can go from there. As well as the images, I'm probably gonna switch out these images, for sure gonna switch out these images. So let's go in and rearrange the pricing as well. All right, so what did my competitor sell it at? He's selling it at $8.99. I don't know how there's much margin there. So 189, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go 10.99 on all these. All right, and I'm not going to have this many products, so I'm just gonna go with the popular ones. I'm gonna remove the rose, I'm gonna remove the orange, and we're just gonna go with those. We're gonna go with these four. Just gonna delete these for now. Remember, less is more. You do not wanna convolute the website and make it so that there are so many different variations for your customer to choose. And then I'm also gonna go here, look at the images that they have. They have some decent images. Uh, I'm gonna look at the competitors' images. I'm gonna start to save some of these images. I know I saw one of these from the other competitor. If we look here, yeah, so this guy's the moon ball. Scroll down, he has a bunch of different images. Now I do not recommend to directly take other people's images as that might be copyright. Same reason why it might be plagiarism if you copy directly from other people's description. But because we are doing this on a bit of a time crunch and I'm trying to get this to you guys as quick as possible, for example purposes, I'm gonna be using some of these images as well as the AliExpress images. And one thing that you could also do is go to your supplier and say, hey, do you have any solid pictures of this product that I can use on my website that are not copyrighted? Right, so I went ahead and added those images and I'm just gonna name this the Orbix Ball Pro. And then we're gonna save here. And then now we're gonna set up an automatic discount so I can work on increasing the average order value. I think this is gonna be in my best interest. So we'll go buy, All right. 50%, 6 cannot be combined. And this is actually gonna be an automatic discount. I mean, just, Add that again. All right, sorry, that's gonna be an automatic discount. Buy one, get one 50% off. Minimum quantity of items, so you gotta buy one. Specific products, we're gonna browse, really just select one product, any of these, and then they get the other one for 50% off. Must add one. And then the specific products, we'll browse again. 
they buy one they can get another one for 50 percent off and we're going to save this discount we're also going to voice that in the product page it's a deal. buy one get one 50 percent off limited time deal i will save here and you go back to the online store that we're gonna go in and customize all right so we're gonna go in and customize this store for now okay so for now we're gonna want to overlook in mobile because 99 percent of the visitors are going to be mobile if we are going to be marketing organic or even paid 99 percent of the people are going to be mobile so we'll start with editing the color schemes for now so i'm gonna go with four i, I generally like four so let's go with four here will be four as well change this to four pretty much going to be a a white on black that's what it's going to be edit this scheme it's going to be four all right that looks fine and then we can start to add our logo and to add our logo we're going to create a logo i'm going to be using canva i'm going to create a design go onto logo just like this so i'm going to be using a template let's just go with like galaxy New Galaxy Spaceball and let's see what we can find. This one's cool. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll take this and then we're gonna do Orbix Ball. See how that looks. And okay, that's nice. And then we'll remove this. We don't need that. That to me looks pretty good for now. Doesn't have to be perfect. We are testing, so I'm gonna download this. Download as a PNG, and then we're gonna go back it here to the header and let go back here colors logo i'm going to select my image i'm going to drag and drop and we are done so that's what the logo looks like for now okay and then we can edit this logo we can do desktop logo with look let's reduce the padding a little bit bottom okay there we go that looks pretty good or big ball and then the top we are going to change that right to that incentive so we can keep it at white that should be fine and the announcement we're going to go here welcome to our store we're going to change free and then this main photo we are going to change this one looks pretty good do something like orbix orbix ball so we'll change this like that it's the world's bounciest ball all right, so there we go. The world's bounciest ball. That looks cool. And then we'll do the shop now. Yeah, we can do something like that. Shop now. So let's start to arrange some things. Instead of a banner, let's do a featured product. So we'll add a section right here. We're gonna do featured product. I'm gonna scroll this guy up there. Whoops, not there, but right under. And this guy is gonna go to four. Also, I'm gonna select the product. It's gonna be the Orbix ball. That looks pretty good. I'm going to remove the quantity selector. I don't think it's necessary. I'm also going to remove this. Remove the share block. I'm going to remove this. This is featured products, but we're going to change this. This is a collection. So we don't want a collection right here. I'm going to just turn that off, but I'm going to add an image with text. So we're going to add this box right under the image with a banner add a section right here and i'm gonna do a let's do an image with text image with the text and then we're gonna go and explore images i'll add this gif we're gonna fix this color scheme really quick let's go to our normal and let's go in and use this let's go back to chat gpt and say give me a so this is even what we could do I'm going to say, I'm creating an image with text. The text is showcasing the product. Can you give me a short description for my homepage? Let's see what it comes up with. And that's what we'll be using right here. Bounce to new heights. All right, this is good. So then I'll add this right here. And I'm going to, I like this. See. So this is what I'm going to add here. We do not need, there we go. Don't need all these. 
and we do not need a button so i'm gonna remove the button so i actually kind of want to change this first image so let's do this change the green icon to this so then i can save it and then refresh really quick we'll notice that now this is a new image there we go it looks a lot better remove this section too i'm liking the way that this looks remove this just doing a little bit of fine tuning all i'm really doing here is properly showcasing this main unit that we have right here i have a gif broken up by a little bit of informative text that is interactive as well and then i have this image right here oh, this is actually the featured product we could even go to the product page itself hit view full details and then this is what we are looking at. Looks pretty solid. So I'm going to save it. Make sure that you do save it on the top right. Because if you do not do that and you go back, you're going to lose all of your progress. So we're going to add some pages. Now I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to add my policy pages. So we're going to go to policies. And this is pretty quick and easy. So we can just create from the template the refund policy. Now you can change this as you want. You see there's a 14 day right here. A 30 day right here you can change it however you want if you want a 14 day if you want no return policy no refund policy you can add it as you would like privacy policy doing the same thing terms of service and the shipping policy you're gonna have to edit and input yourself what i could say is this go to chat gpt and say my product just in 15 days can you create so this is what we do my product ships in 15 days can you create a shipping policy for my shopify store named or big small. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna use what we have here. And then I can tell it to remove the emojis as well. And then the contact information you can create from the template. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna just gonna say remove, remove emojis. All right, so you can see that this isn't exactly what we have. So all we have to do is edit it. Go here under $35, $5. I think we're charging $2.99 and remove this. There you go, you have your shipping policy. So we're gonna save that. So we can go right here, go to the footer menu. Then we can add these menus. We can add each policy. So we can go refund, or we can just, we can go like this. Policies that we have here, privacy. Okay, we'll add this one. Same thing, policies, refund, add, add a menu, policies again shipping add another one terms of service add this save this menu then we can go here over to the main website scroll to the very bottom and then we can add these at the footer we can add our footer menu and we can say show the policy link so we can leave those policy links at the bottom or we could add the menu and place them right here but i think it looks better how it is at the bottom so we have it saved and this is pretty much the entirety of the store in order to be put in the raffle to potentially win this store that i have created all you got to do is like the video you got to be subscribed and finally comment below a place that you want to travel to if you guys don't want to travel that's completely fine just comment something insightful and i'm going to be picking one random winner for all you guys that are really lazy or you don't have time to create stores i have an ai powered software that my team has created that will build you a shopify store in less than 12 minutes completely for free we're not going to charge you for anything and any resource that i use throughout this whole tutorial i'm going to be placing all those links in the description and there you have it if you've been following along you'll now have a store set up and ready to start advertising if you guys need a little bit of help with advertising i have a completely free step-by-step -step tutorial to show you guys exactly how to do so feel free to leave your questions in the comment section i'll make sure to answer all the ones that i can see you guys in the next one peace